This video is going to be on how to add a navigation bar with given code. And what I've done in Canvas, I have given you a folder that's on Canvas that you can download that has some different navigation bars. Okay, And what we're going to do is we're going to integrate each of these into a simple layout. Again, this is from Canvas. Here's my Art116 folder. I'm just going to leave that right there. And I've already got some layouts open. They're all the same layout here, but I'm going to add a different navigation bar to each of them. Also note, this is a really simple layout. Okay, this video isn't going to be about how to design this simple layout. Um, that has been covered in other videos, but it's a really simple layout. I've got a container, okay, that's wrapped around the header. I've got a div that's holding a section or a section is nested inside this class equals quote content parent. I have an aside. This is the end of that div. There's the footer. And again, I've got that main div that's wrapping around them all. And what I'm going to do is add some navigation. And by the way, each of these files here has a different style sheet that's attached. So I am using different style sheets as I'm going about it. All right, I'm going to open up the first file here. So I'm going to go File Open, and I'm going to navigate to that navigation folder on my desktop, which is right here. And I'm just going to open up this first one and open. And just taking a look at these files, now all the CSS code is currently in the head of the document. There is no separate style sheet. Just because of simplicity, what I did was I incorporated the CSS into the head of the document. And when we copy the rules into the other file, we are not going to pick up the style tag. That is needed only when the styles are in the head of the document. All right, but I am going to copy down here the actual HTML code, and I'm going to go from my commenting text all the way to the bottom, and I'm going to copy that, edit, copy. I'm going to flip back to my first layout here, and also note in this layout, I do not currently have any kind of box for the navigation. I did not set that up. Now you have to do is decide where you want to put the navigation. Do you want to put it at the top, above the header? Do you want to put it below? I'm going to put it above the header. So I'm going to click right after this wrapper here or container, and I'm going to hit the return key because this is where I'm going to paste my code. So I'm going to go edit, paste. If I look in design mode, I can see I've got an unordered list with list items, and they already have a link, a pseudo link. What do I mean by that? I'm going to open up the properties panel. And all that was placed in here was the pound sign. Again, this is just a placeholder link. You would have to go back and actually make a real working link. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the CSS code. So that file is right here. And I'm going to copy everything between the style tags. So here all the way to here. I'm going to go edit, copy. I'm going to flip back to my layout here, and I'm going to put it in the style sheet. The style sheet is right here. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom here after that last curly bracket, and I'm going to go edit, paste. If I click in design mode, okay. Now, this one is a little bit unusual the way it was built. If I actually flip to live mode, it's exactly the way I want it to be. Now, we haven't covered this, but if I look at the CSS code and go all the way to the bottom here, it's actually built on the flex properties, which I will include a video on later, but not at this point. Uh, the flex properties just do not show themselves in regular design mode. You certainly could also go and preview in the web and save and there you go. If I hover, you could always change the hover state and so forth. Let me go ahead and do another one. So I am just going to close this file, close this file, 
All right, so this is my second example here. I'm going to open up that code. So I'm going to go File, Open. I'm going to navigate to that navigation folder, which is right here. And I open up the second one. OK, again, if I look in Live Mode, it's going to look a little bit different. So I'm going to go back to Design Mode. And what I'm going to do is I am going to copy in this file. Let me open this up a little bit. I'm going to copy where it says um, Start of Navigation all the way down. So I'm making sure I get the nav tags. Actually, I missed that little bit of a comment. And I'm going to go Edit Copy. I'm going to flip back to this layout, and I need to decide where it's going to go. Um, I'll just be consistent with this one, and I'll put it after the container. So my cursor is right here. I'm going to hit the Return key, and I'm going to go Edit Paste. If I click in Design Mode, Again, the same thing is going on here. Unordered list with list items and a pseudo link on each of these. I'm going to go to that navigation file again, and I'm going to pick up the styling. Again, not picking up the style tag. And I'm going to go all the way up and go edit, copy. I'm going to flip back to my layout. I'm going to go to the style sheet. Go all the way to the bottom after the curly bracket, hit the return key, and paste. Again, just the way this one was built, I am not going to be able to see the navigation bar in design mode, so I'm going to flip to live mode. And there it is. Let me go ahead and preview on the web. It's going to ask me to save, save, and there you go. And obviously, you could make your own changes to the styling, but that's the next one. Let me go ahead and close that file. Let me close that navigation bar. Now the third layout with the third navigation code. So I'm going to open that third file up from the navigation folder. So I'm going to go File, Open, Navigate to that file, which is on my desktop right here. And this is the third one. And I'm going to open it up. Okay. Got that opened up. If I go to design mode, from design mode to live mode, you can see that it is different. All right, I'm going to go down and I'm going to copy the code. Again, I'm going to copy the nav tag, but I'm also going to copy these comments as well, this gray comments. And I'm going to go edit copy. I'm going to flip back to this layout. And this time I'll put it under the header. So here's the header tag. I'm going to put my cursor after it. I'm going to hit the return key and I'm going to go edit paste. Now that navigation, unstyled navigation is here. Again, the same thing is true. It's an unordered list with list items that have a pseudo link. Let me go to this file again and let me pick up the styles. And I also want to note that this one already has that universal selector that zeroes everything out. If I already have it in my other file, I don't want to duplicate it. But I'll grab it all and then I'll check my code. So all the way, again, not picking up that style tag, I'm going to go Edit, Copy, flip back to this one, go to the style sheet. I already have it in here. Again, I don't want to duplicate this. so. I'm going to get rid of it in the code that I'm going to paste. So I'm at the bottom here, and I'm going to hit the return key, and I'm going to paste. Again, I don't want this one duplicated. I've got it here, and I also have it at the top, so I'm going to make sure that I delete this line here. Click in Design Mode. Okay, Again, you cannot see it in Design Mode, so let's see what it looks like in Live. Okay, let me preview on the web and save and save. And there you go. All right, let's do the next one. I'm going to close that file. I'm going to close this file. Okay, example number four. I am going to open up 
that navigation code. So I'm going to go file, open. Okay, I need to find that navigation bar folder, which is right here. And this one is number four. So I'm going to open that up. If I go to live mode, okay, well, this one's a little bit different. It's got a logo file in here. I am going to go to the code. I'm going to pick up everything here where it's the start of navigation all the way down to where it says end of navigation and oops i missed that bracket in there and i'm going to edit copy i'm going to flip back to this layout since this one has a logo in it i am going to make sure that i put it above my header so i'm going to put my cursor right here hit the return key and go edit paste okay let me find those styles in this file okay they're right here scroll up okay this has a universal selector in there and it will change all your fonts to to sans serif you can have that if you want if you don't want that you don't need that part but be careful of these universal selectors you don't want them to duplicate something so i'm going to select them all and i'm going to go edit copy I'm going to flip back to my layout i'm going to open up the style sheet all the way at the bottom i'm right here i'm going to hit the return key and edit paste okay let me go ahead and look what it looks like in live mode okay now the logo file is missing it was not in my image folder meaning if i look here that logo is located outside of my named or root folder. Make sure that when you do a revision that you have a logo file in here or you move these files into your image folder. Okay, so what I think I'll do is copy these logos into my root folder. So I'm gonna select both of them. I have another navigation bar that has one of these images too. So I'm going to go edit, copy to, close that. I'm going to open up my art 116 folder, my named folder, and I'm going to put it in my image folder and paste those logos. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is go back here. I'm going to go back to design mode. I'm going to select this one. And what I'm going to do is open up the properties panel. Okay. I can see right here, the source of this logo and I'm going to change that. What I'm going to do is just get rid of that right there and I'm going to click the folder icon to navigate to the one that's in my root folder. So I'm going to click the folder icon and I'm going to go to Art116, my name folder, my images folder, and I'm going to find the logo. Okay this looks like it and i'm going to open it okay let me go ahead and go back to live mode and there you go if i select this logo and go to my source code right now i'm in the css okay if you want to you could go into photoshop and you could create your own logo file that this one is 140 the width the height is 50 but make sure that you save it in your image folder. You can swap it out. All right, moving on. Okay, so I'm done with that one. I'm gonna close and save and save. I'm gonna close this file and I'm gonna open up the next one. Okay, file open, navigate to that navigation folder. It's right here and this is number five. I'm gonna open it. All right, now again, if I go into live mode, I can see what it really looks like. I'm going to scroll down till I get to the HTML code, which is here. So I'm gonna copy start of navigation all the way to the end here, making sure that I pick up all the code. I'm gonna go edit, copy, flip back to my layout, and I'm gonna put this above the header. So I'm gonna click here, hit the return key, and this is where I'm going to paste that HTML, edit, paste. Click in design mode. 
same thing, unordered list with links. And I'm gonna to go to this file again, and I'm going to pick up the styles. So it starts here, I'm not picking up that style tag, and I'm not picking up the end of the style tag, tag just the rules, edit, copy, flip back to my layout, gonna put it in my style sheet, so I'm clicking right here, scrolling down, my cursor's right here, edit, paste. Okay, let me go ahead and take a look at this in live mode. And by the way, this one is actually built on just text, it's not an image. So what I could do is just come in here, and obviously I could make color changes, but I could make this whatever I wanted it to be, okay? Let me go ahead and preview on the web and save and save and there you go all right let's do that last one okay let me open up that last one file open navigate to that folder which is right here number six and open it all right what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the html edit copy flipping to my layout I'm going to put it above the header, so I'm going to click right here, hit the return key, again above the header, right here, and I'm going to go edit, paste. If I click in design mode, okay, I got an, an image missing, which I can fix, and I'm going to go live, okay, and I need to get that image. So I'm going to go back to design mode, and I'm gonna select this and open up my properties panel. I'm gonna get rid of this text here. I'm gonna click on the folder icon and look for a logo from my folder, my root folder, image folder, and I'm gonna select this one and open it. Let me go ahead and preview on the web and save and yes, and there you go. Obviously, again, you could swap out the logo for your logo, change the color. It looks like this one does not have a hover state, so that would be something you'd want to add as well.